Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Thanks so much for joining us today for our weekly uh, Railbookers webinar. Today, we're going to be looking at Alaska and some of the benefits of traveling by rail and exploring the great highlights that Alaska has to offer. My name is Chris David. I'm going to be your host for today's presentation. Uh, I'm the Vice President of Sales for Railbookers <clears throat> for Canada. I'm located in Toronto, and that is where I'm presenting to you all from today. Um, to kick things off this morning, let's start by just doing a quick overview of what we're going to be covering in today's presentation. First off, some of those basics about rail travel and in particular the experience of being on board with Alaska Railroad. The main focus for today is going to be on the destinations. I'm sharing several different itineraries that give you a sense of what you can do and see and how you can explore Alaska by rail. And in addition, I'm going to be talking towards the end of the presentation about some additional ideas for scenic rail travel with similar kinds of experiences to what you'd find in Alaska in a couple of our other rail bookers destinations, which I'll keep a secret just for the time being. Um, also, I'll be talking about how our vacation packages with rail bookers can be customized, because that's a big part of our offering, the ability to add rail segments and modify the itinerary to meet your specific travel requirements. And also, in the course of the presentation, I'll be going over some of those health and safety measures and protocols that Alaska Railroad has adopted to make sure that it's safe and to provide peace of mind for anybody considering a rail vacation for that next trip as we'll start getting back into the routine and the rhythm of traveling once again now that the COVID situation is on the way and worldwide. <clears throat> first things first, however, I'd like to give you a quick introduction to our company. We're called the Yankee Leisure Group, and we are a tour operator specializing in train trips, in rail vacations, in anything uh, leisure travel-wise, vacation-related, that uses a train as the mode of transportation to get you around from destination to destination within an independent vacation. In the US, we're the official tour operator for Amtrak, so we have an exclusive partnership with Amtrak as the operator of all of the leisure trips, the vacation packages into the US national parks and other destinations throughout the lower 48 US states, which is, which is where Amtrak operates. Amtrak does not actually go as far as Alaska. Alaska has its own railroad company, as you may be aware, Alaska Railroad. And so all of our Alaska trips don't actually go under the Amtrak Vacations brand. They fall under Railbookers, which is the brand within our company that incorporates train trips, rail vacations, independent journeys, traveling by train all over the world, in Alaska, in Canada, in Europe, and other fantastic destinations worldwide, like Australia, where we work with the luxury trains like the GAN and India Pacific, uh, and other luxury trains around the world, the Orient Express, and many more. And speaking of luxury rail, we now have a separate brochure, since this has really emerged as a very, very popular option for people looking for a bucket list, unique uh, travel experience, at, you know, <clears throat> after being under lockdown and prevented from traveling and exploring for the last 18 months. Um, Luxury rail has really skyrocketed in popularity because it's something so spectacular and so unique. And we've got an entire brochure dedicated to that. Trips on the Orient Express, the GAN and Indian Pacific, the Blue Train, the Golden Eagle, Trans-Siberian Express, some wonderful luxury rail uh, ideas. <clears throat> if you um, open up your, if, if you download the uh, um, e-brochure, uh, via our website. We also have e-brochures on our cruise extensions, which is another specialty within Railbookers. Packages ranging from uh, five days right up to 10 days and two weeks connecting with the river and ocean ports in Europe and around the world on the Danube, the Rhine, the Mediterranean, the Baltic, and Alaska, another great pre or post cruise destination as well. We have a unique ability at Railbookers <clears throat> To be able to confirm arrangements and make bookings on trains well in advance of travel, up to two days, uh, up to two years in advance, this is something <clears throat> very, 
very unique because the European train companies typically will only issue rail tickets two or three months prior to departure. We have special partnerships and agreements with the rail operators, allowing us to do everything, confirm it uh, two years out. So what that means for you is you can lock in today's rate for a journey uh, up to you know the first half of 2023. And we're expecting within travel, there's going to be pent up demand resulting in big price increases. So that's a, a great opportunity to make sure you get the best value and the best price. And as well, just ensure that you get the seat on this trip that you're, you're looking for on all segments, on all the trains. Because again, with the pent up demand, there's going to be a capacity crunch. There's going to be huge demand and things are going to start booking out and selling out. We've just relaunched our website at Railbookers, which is fantastic. Some <coughs> amazing search features <coughs> and a great tool for planning your independent travels. Uh, again, through Europe, Canada, Alaska, the US and, and worldwide, a huge variety uh, and range of itineraries and vacation packages, all searchable by destination. <clears throat> you can actually use our search filter to enter in a couple of destination cities that you're interested in, and then you will get uh, the the website will return um, all the packages that include those destination cities. So really a great way to plan your travels. Again, we work directly in partnership with the European rail operators like Deutsche Bahn and Trenitalia, and as their leisure travel partner, selling uh, seats on those trains to vacation travelers from the US and Canada and worldwide, the train companies give us special access to their inventory, to those train segments, allowing us to book and confirm everything once again, two years out, which is one of the things that has made Railbookers such a convenient option for people planning independent travel through Europe. In Europe, rail is probably the best way to get around a huge network of high-speed trains connecting all the highlight destinations and cities throughout Europe. And <clears throat> so having a specialized tour operator like Railbooker has been able to make all those train arrangements um, has been, <clears throat> uh, has made us um, the uh, the provider, the travel provider of choice for many independent travelers. These are some of the things that we can do to really make your life easy when it comes to planning your independent travel. We're a rail expert. We can advise you on all of those complicated and intimidating aspects of train travel, the fares, the schedules, the routes. There are over 30,000 train stations just across Europe, 3,000 rail routes. So figuring out what's going to work best is can be tricky. We, we're able to provide all the advice on that. The ability to book two years out, flexibility to add an additional rail segment into any one of our itineraries, um, and a huge variety of different kind of train trips to choose from, from luxury trains to iconic scenic sightseeing trains, and of course, that network of high-speed rail routes throughout Europe, as well as Via Rail here in Canada, Alaska Railroad, and the other uh, specialty trains around the world. We are a worldwide company, Railbookers, with offices in Australia, the UK, Canada, and the US. So wherever you're traveling, we'll be able to help you out. We've got your back with that 24-hour emergency support in destination. And everything that we do at Railbookers is customizable. So our trips, you know, when you look at a package on our website, bear in mind, it's not a group tour and it's not a set departure day. Every booking will be a customized, personalized, tailor-made trip just for you and your party. And that, because of that, we can customize any of these packages. We can add additional nights in any of the destinations, add on extra destinations into the trip, really wherever the train goes, we can add a segment to include that in your itinerary, as well as upgrading the accommodation on board the train between economy and uh, business or first class and adding any of the sightseeing experiences, excursions, or admission to those highlight attractions in the destinations that you're visiting. We can add that all. Uh, so with Railbookers, it's a one-stop shop. We take care of the trains, the hotel, the sightseeing, and the excursions. When it comes to hotels, 
we enable you to customize by choosing three, four or five star hotels on every night of your trip. So you can add that little bit of additional luxury by going with a iconic five star resort property that perhaps you've always dreamed of staying at, not necessarily throughout the itinerary, but in one or two destinations along the route. And if you're concerned about your options in the event of having to cancel or reschedule your trip with Railbookers, you can do so five days prior to your departure. We provide a future travel credit valid for two years that can be used towards absolutely anything that we have in any destination worldwide. So it's enormously flexible, regardless of what you initially booked, you could split that credit over multiple new bookings. Uh, all funds on file at the time of cancellation can be, uh, can be used to book a completely different trip in a different destination. Can also be transferred to another person if you decide that you no longer wish to travel within the two year validity period. We have a great promo on at the moment. You can save up to $350 per booking. So make sure if any of these packages to Alaska interest you, or if you're perhaps thinking about doing a, a pre and post cruise extension, if you're cruising in Europe next year in 2022, think about putting something on deposit with Railbookers. Everything's uh, filling up fast. And uh, if you do so, Within the next few days, you'll be able to avail yourself of that $350 per booking uh, discount. Here you see the European rail network. Uh, it can be quite an intimidating um, thing, setting up rail travel throughout Europe. Every country has a different company that operates its rail system. None of them talk to each other on the back end. With rail bookers, it's dead easy. Again, we partner with all of them. We can put that itinerary together with you in real time over the phone. Uh, I would always recommend that you work with a travel agent to plan your, uh, your independent trip through Europe, and we would coordinate everything with them on your behalf. Before we start looking at the itineraries in Alaska, Goodness, I've just received a notification that the battery on my computer is running low. So I want to see if I can uh, just plug in. It doesn't seem like I have a power pack. Excuse me for the quick, uh, for, for the, uh, the. Sorry, folks, I'm back with you. Uh, before we look at the itineraries in Alaska, I want to just take you through the uh, protocols that Alaska Railroad has adopted. Masks are required on the trains and in the stations for passengers and staff. Food service may have been curtailed on some journeys, although I believe there are very uh, minor disruptions with Alaska Railroad. Seat configuration has changed in the open seating areas, so um, fewer passengers being booked to ensure that social distancing guidelines can be maintained. Trains have been sanitized on an ongoing basis, and there are no tickets or cash changing hands on board. With that, let's dive in and look at these amazing itineraries for exploring Alaska by rail with Alaska Railroad. The railroad spans the length of the state, which by the way is America's largest state, as I'm sure most of you know, one fifth the size of the lower 48, and the railroad goes from south to north from Seward on the south coast all the way up to Fairbanks. We have several different itineraries featuring uh, destinations along that route combined in various durations so that you can do a quick trip up to Denali National Park or take in uh, a lot of the sites along the route. Our most popular package is Alaska Adventure with Alaska Railroad. This is nine days. You're starting in Anchorage uh, with a journey down to Seward and an overnight to explore the Kenai Fjords National Park, an overnight in Talkeetna and then the main attraction is going to be Denali National Park. Anchorage in itself is a fantastic destination, the gateway to the north, a unique atmosphere, and lots of nature within the city limits. You can go out to Potter Marsh and see hundreds of species of birds, as well as uh, moose and uh, other uh, animals right there, just a few miles from the city center. As well, Anchorage has uh, cultural and historic attractions like the Alaska Native Heritage Center. Of course, traveling through Alaska by rail gives you the opportunity to see the views and the scenery and the landscapes everywhere you go. You have uh, waterfalls and uh, mountains and uh, incredible 
scenery traveling along the coast as you see in this picture and the trains are equipped with glass domed observation cars so you can really make the most of that scenic travel opportunity. The overnight in Seward again will allow you to experience uh, the incredible beauty of Kenai Fjords National Park where also you can come up close and personal with some of the marine wildlife that's an included uh, half day excursion. You then overnight in Seward returning to Anchorage an overnight in Anchorage before you continue on to Denali National Park. Two classes of service on board with Alaska Railroad. Adventure class, where you have big reclining seats, lots of legroom, big panoramic windows. And then there is Gold Star, where the seats are under glass dome panoramic windows, and there's a restaurant car on the lower level of the double decker rail carriage. There's also a bar in back, and you get two free alcoholic beverages, as well as all your meals when you're in Gold Star service. A destination along the route with this great itinerary is Talkeetna, which is a wonderful Alaskan village. It dates back to the uh, gold rush and it has that gold rush atmosphere, as well as lots of adventures that you can do from Talkeetna. Uh, jet boat safari on the rivers. Uh, you can also do uh, dog sledding, which we can arrange as an, uh, as an excursion that's part of, of your package. You go out and you meet the husky pups, you learn about uh, the traditions of the mushing and you go out and actually get to mush your own cart for about an, an hour which is uh, which is just a fantastic Alaskan typical experience. Denali is going to be the highlight for many visitors to Alaska home to North America's tallest peak Denali formerly Mount McKinley over 20,000 feet in altitude absolutely spectacular visible on a clear day from Talkeetna and of course when you're in Denali you have uh, an included excursion. That's a part of, of all our, our packages at, at, at Railbookers. You're traveling uh, 92 miles throughout Denali National Park, a full day excursion that will take you Folks, I'd just like to reconfirm that everybody's still with me. As you may have guessed, I lost power there for just a moment. So I'm going to open up my question box and I'm going to just ask everybody to confirm, if you wouldn't mind, um, that everything is is uh, still working and that you can uh, that you can see and that you can hear the presentation.
Fantastic. Thank you for that, Karen, Roseanne. Excellent. Okay, so we're back in business, and I do apologize for that interruption. Um, I was just talking about Denali and the excursion into Denali National Park that is an included feature of our Alaska itineraries. It's an Alaskan backcountry adventure. You're going throughout the park, seeing all the uh, most uh, popular uh, scenic overlooks. You're going to Kantishna, where clients, where you'll have the opportunity to try your hand at different uh, Alaskan activities, panning for gold, doing a botany hike with uh, one of the national park guides. There's also an included lunch at the uh, miners' um, camp within the park. And uh, you're leaving early in the morning from your hotel, the Denali cabins, close to the entrance to the park, returning in the evening. So getting that real full immersive experience of the park, learning about the wildlife, seeing the scenery, um, and leaving no stone unturned, familiarizing yourself with uh, with the, uh, the incredible um, beauty, scenery, nature of Denali. Then it's back to Anchorage on Alaska Railroad. And again, can't overstate how being on the train and just traveling through Alaska by rail is a highlight in and of itself. Everywhere you go, you're bypassing beautiful scenery. Uh, this slide, by the way, shows the outdoor observation deck in Gold Star class on Alaska Railroad, which is a fantastic feature. Um, there, there are very few trains that, uh, that have this enabling you to breathe that fresh mountain air and get the uninterrupted view, you know, reflection-free photography opportunities as you're traveling through Alaska. And there's the downstairs dining section of the Gold Star Rail Carriage, uh, where the fantastic included meals are served. This is a round trip itinerary, so it'll finish back in Anchorage. Uh, perfect opportunity to have that round trip flying in and out of, uh, of Anchorage, which is a very easy, uh, accessible uh, air gateway. So as I mentioned, lots of different variations of uh, the route with Alaska Railroad, allowing you to travel as we just saw, round trip starting ending Anchorage, or you can do this on a unidirectional basis where you're starting Anchorage and traveling the route northwards up into Fairbanks. Uh, the, if, you, if you're if you doing that, you would be flying uh, into Anchorage and out of Fairbanks. We can also customize these itineraries so it can be done as a cruise extension. So if you're doing an Alaska cruise and um, disembarking in Seward, instead of starting in Anchorage, we can easily customize the itinerary so that you're starting in uh, in Seward. So again, with this package, Anchorage is going to be your base, your start point for exploring Alaska. Um, and so much to do in and around Anchorage. And we include a, a trolley tour, which is a kind of a general um, sightseeing tour that will take you around Anchorage and give you a sense of the sites, the various neighborhoods, and the things that you want to go back and explore in greater depth. You can you know, watch float planes taking off. Um, on the uh, on the lakes in Alaska, we can actually book a flight scene trip as well from Anchorage, taking you uh, all the way over to Denali. Again, there's that outdoor observation deck on the Alaska Railroad, and you get a good sense from this picture of the Adventure and Gold Star carriages. The Adventure uh, carriage, Adventure class is the single level. The Gold Star is the double level, um, and in the in the adventure class, which is the economy seating, the entry level, all those those passengers also have access to the glass domed observation cars. So uh, you can make your way to the observation car and sit also under a you know that panoramic uh, glass dome window, and that is available regardless of the class of accommodation that you're booked in. This slide gives you a good sense of the included half-day sightseeing excursion through Kenai Fjords National Park from Seward. You're going on one of these catamarans, cruising among the remote islands, going right up to the uh, glaciers to see them carving into the water. And again, you get to see uh, wonderful marine wildlife, sea lions, seals, otters, and if you're lucky, you may even see a humpback breaching. 
Uh, onboard Alaska Railroad in the Gold Star service, which is the first class, again, one of the included features is that you have very knowledgeable Alaskan tour guides that are providing narration throughout the journey. Talkeetna, once again, is um, a, perfect, uh, a perfect destination for people who enjoy outdoor adventures. There is so much you can do there. There are zip lining adventures. You have these wonderful jet boat safaris that take you uh, down the river, uh, again, to see the scenery. And from Talkeetna, you, <coughs> you can get these magnificent views of, uh, of Denali, um, the mountain, the tallest mountain in North America. Um, also from Talkeetna, I knew there was one other thing I wanted to mention. We can do guided fishing excursions, which is uh, fantastic. You actually go on a, uh, a float plane with a fishing guide. They're taking you out to um, a perfect fishing spot, and it's a full day excursion. They've got all the tackle, all the gear. So for anglers and uh, fishing enthusiasts, what an absolutely brilliant opportunity. We can book that, arrange it, all set it up and include it in your itinerary. And again, from Talkeetna, just a short journey by rail up to Denali National Park, where we will uh, book you in at the Denali cabins, a fantastic uh, property in a wilderness setting with wood bungalow accommodations uh, right there close to the base of the park. Perfect vantage point for your full day excursion, uh, the Denali backcountry adventure. And from Denali, on this itinerary, we're heading northwards. We're going up to Fairbanks which is known to local Alaskans as the Golden Heart City. It's home to uh, about 100,000 people. And um, lots to do and see up in Fairbanks, all kinds of outdoor adventures. But most notably, you know, Fairbanks is the land of the midnight sun. There's going to be 70 days of 24-hour daylight uh, through the summer months in Fairbanks. But also bear in mind, Fairbanks is a wintertime destination. So the itinerary like the one we're looking at here, which includes Seward and Talkeetna and Denali National Park, that doesn't operate during the summer because those destinations are closed during the summer months. However, the railroad runs year round. and We have fantastic winter um, aurora packages. Fairbanks, of course, one of the best places in North America to see the aurora borealis. And uh, that's, you know, they, they're a wintertime phenomenon. Uh, and that the, the railroad runs between the winter months, between September and March, and you can actually book these packages from Anchorage going up on the, the railroad into Fairbanks to see the Aurora. We also have shorter packages. So there are some people that are mainly interested in Denali, and uh, there are itineraries designed to get you into Anchorage, get your bearings in Anchorage, and then go up on the train and see Denali National Park, some of which will also include the special journey um, on Alaska Railroad to Spencer Glacier. And that's what we're seeing here. This is a six day package where during your three nights in Anchorage, you'll have the day excursion uh, out to Spencer Glacier on the uh, on Alaska Railroad's Glacier Discovery Train. So after seeing the Alaska Native Heritage Center and going to Potter Marsh and getting the experience in Anchorage, you're gonna be going uh, on that Glacier Discovery Train down to the Alaska Wildlife Conservation Center, where you can see brown and black bears, moose, caribou, wood bison, and more. And then you're continuing on to the Spencer Glacier Whistle Stop. And there you're gonna be met by a guide who will actually take you on board a, a raft and row you among the icebergs at Spencer Glacier. Absolutely incredible experience. And you're gonna cruise down the pristine Placer River with those magnificent views of the mountains and hanging glaciers as you go. Uh, then you'll have your excursion you know, back to Anchorage on the Glacier Discovery Train and up to Denali with, again, the full day Denali backcountry adventure. I want to emphasize that uh, this year, 2021, um, there is very little space still to be had in Alaska with the huge demand for domestic travel in the US with overseas destinations uh, being still unavailable because of ongoing COVID restrictions. Um, Alaska is 
full to the brim and it's difficult to get space on trips in summer of 2021. So these Alaska uh, itineraries and packages we've looked at today, really there's lots of space still available for 2022. And I would encourage anybody interested um, to really consider looking seriously at 2022, putting something on deposit. Again, you can uh, get the $350 per booking uh, discount with the promo that we have at the moment. Given that Alaska is a destination, it's all about scenery, it's all about uh, experiencing the majesty of nature, I want to share some other destinations that we have at Railbookers. Again, we, we've got trips all, all around the world that are really similar in terms of enabling you to see magnificent scenery, uh, mountains, forests, rivers, coastlines. The most um, obvious of which is Switzerland, which is an absolute specialty for us at Railbookers, an incredible destination for rail travel with amazing, iconic, scenic trains that go throughout the country and uh, wonderful train experiences. The Swiss have really kind of perfected the art of rail engineering. And there are these incredible trains that go to the top of mountains as well as through the Alps showing you all the beautiful scenery. Swiss Lakes and Mountains, one of our most popular itineraries starting in Zurich. It can also start in Basel. So if anyone's doing a river cruise on the Rhine, starting or ending in Basel, it's an absolutely brilliant complimentary experience to go and explore the Alps by rail on these sightseeing trains um, in conjunction with those Rhine cruisers. This itinerary features the amazing Bernina Express, which travels from the ski resort town uh, of St. Moritz southwards into northern Italy to Tirano, going four hours through the most spectacular stretches of the Swiss Alps. <clears throat> You're going through the beautiful town of Chur, which is the oldest town in Switzerland, and uh, dates back with uh, human settlement over 5,000 years, so a very historic place to explore. Um, absolutely iconic and beautiful alpine village, and that's going to be on your route um, of the Bernina Express. The Glacier Express is another scenic sightseeing train in Switzerland, probably the most, one of the most famous train rides in the world. It goes eight hours through the Alps between St. Moritz and Zermatt. Uh, here you see it going over one of the amazing viaducts that's used to carry the train through these very remote, inaccessible Alpine regions. There's an excellence class on board. This is their five-star service, where you get an included five-course gourmet meal, accompanied, of course, by lovely European wines. You have a concierge service throughout the journey with excellence class, as well as the bar at the back of the train, the amazing glacier bar with a, that full-size working compass set into the roof, um, and that's included. Your alcoholic beverages are included with that uh, journey. Standard class, also incredibly comfortable. The whole experience on Glacier Express is designed to showcase the main attraction, which is those incredible views along the route. Switzerland is also home to <coughs> cogwheel trains, which are these amazing trains that have been, been engineered so that you can go at a very steep gradient and ride the rails all the way to the top of some of these iconic Swiss summits, like the Jungfrau, the top of Europe, the highest rail station in Europe at over 11,000 feet. You're going up on this amazing excursion from the town of Interlaken. And up at the top, there's a visitor center. You can, this is a wintertime picture. In summer, that glacier, you know, is, it's, it's, uh, it's permanently frozen over. You can walk out on the glacier. You can enjoy a fondue on the deck overlooking the Swiss Alps. And uh, they've got other um, amazing attractions up there, actually, in the visitor center at the top of Europe. The Golden Pass train, another scenic train that travels through the heart of Switzerland. Um, interestingly, this train has a modern and a traditional version. You can go in the panoramic um, version of the train with these modern cars with the big panoramic windows. And they have a Belle Epoque version as well, which is designed in the style of old world luxury, the way the aristocracy of Europe used to travel in the 19th century. So you can have that amazing kind of historic um, atmosphere while traveling through the, uh, the wonderful scenery of central Switzerland. There's an overnight in Montreux uh, on the Swiss Rivera, a very fashionable town, one of the most uh, celebrated casinos in all of Europe on the shores of Lake Geneva. So that's Swiss lakes and mountains. The other destination was, which is amazing for scenery and amazing for rail travel, though 
some people may not be aware of this, is Ireland. Uh, so easy to ride, to, to cover all the highlights of Ireland, traveling around by Irish rail. And when you're an independent traveler, going by train is the best way to do it. You're going from the city center to the city center. There are no transfers from outlying airports. Incredibly convenient. We will book you at a hotel in close proximity to the rail station. So it's really a matter of just uh, disembarking the train, a short walk or a very short taxi ride to your hotel, drop your things and you can hit the ground running, starting to explore the destination. So the Emerald Isle, all about wonderful scenery, Killarney National Park around uh, uh, Killarney and the, uh, the Ring of Kerry, just magnificent scenery, as well as Galway, uh, excursion in Galway to the unbelievable Cliffs of Moher, um, one of the great scenic highlights throughout the British Isles. And of course, you'll have those uh, iconic Ar Irish experiences like Blarney Castle, where you'll get to go up and kiss the Blarney Stone, and uh, time in Dublin. The emphasis with Railbookers is always to provide a perfect balance of free time and included sightseeing. So in Dublin, there, you know, there is uh, a sightseeing tour that'll take you around to all the highlights, but you also get to go and hang out in Temple Bar, the celebrated entertainment district, uh, just to soak up the atmosphere and what they call in Ireland the crack, which is, uh, you know, it's the the fun, the uh, the incredible spirit uh, when you're out of an evening uh, enjoying, you know, the, the wonderful people and atmosphere of, of Dublin. This journey will take you into Northern Ireland as well. You go to Belfast, see the uh, Titanic Museum and uh, a tour of the city, which will show you uh, all of those places of interest from the time of the uh, the troubles in Northern Ireland, and there's also the excursion uh, to see the, um, the incredible uh, basalt columns at the uh, Giant's Causeway. So that's a few additional ideas, uh, as well as Alaska, available for 2021, for 2022. Uh, Railbookers is about independent travel, using the train to get you around, whether it's in Alaska, here in Canada, throughout the US and worldwide. We do webinars every week. Next week, we um, continue with our European rail series going a little deeper in Switzerland. So we showed you one itinerary today. We'll be able to go into greater detail with next week's uh, webinar. And uh, the following week, it's Spotlight on Italy. Um, so folks, hopefully today's webinar gave you some food for thought, some ideas and some options to consider for your next trip. Remember, we've got the promo on at the moment with the ability to save up to $300 per booking. And that brings me to the conclusion of my portion of the presentation. And with that, I'm just gonna open up my question box to see if there are any uh, questions that I can address. Um, Gwen is asking, do people get um, uh, meals included in economy? Um, Gwen, typically not. Um, on Alaska Railroad, no, you do not have your meals included. There is food available for purchase on board. However, only if you're in Gold Star are all your meals for whatever journey you're on included in the fare, as well as two alcoholic beverages per person uh, included as well in Gold Star. Um, are prices quoted per person? Um, so I pay that amount as a single traveler. The, the quoted prices are for um, are per person sharing uh, double accommodations. So we would reprice accordingly. We would give you a quote. Uh, you talk to our rail expert res agents, or I would always recommend have your travel agent do so on your behalf. Um, by the way, whether you work with a travel agent or whether you contact us directly, the price is exactly the same. There is no additional premium that you're paying for booking your trip through a travel agent. That's with rail bookers and other travel suppliers as well. So, uh, you know, agents are so knowledgeable. They got your back. They can help you out should anything go wrong. So I would always recommend it's a, it's a great idea uh, to work with an agent. And uh, again, your, your, we will provide a quote for uh, a solo traveler 
uh, when you when you call us, and we'll always figure out the best way to uh, to economize for you, selecting the uh, rail accommodation and the hotel accommodation that uh, will you know minimize the supplement that you have to pay as a as a solo. Um, do solo trailers have a chance to meet and do things together? Um, you know, I think rail travel is a very social experience. Again, you are, uh, it's, it's not like, uh, you know, it's not like air travel where you kind of just try not to, you try to avoid talking to anyone. You're just going from A to B. The train is a relaxed, comfortable environment where you're not confined to your seat. You can roam around, go and hang out in the lounge car, the cafe, the observation car. And you have the chance to meet and talk to other people. It's known to be uh, an environment where you, you meet your fellow travelers. So I would say it's, a, it's very conducive for that. Also, as part of all of these itineraries we've been looking at today, there are, there are excursions where you're going out in the company of others, the Alaska Backcountry Adventure, um, the Kenai Fjords um, excursion where you're going out uh, on the boat, you're gonna be in the company of others. And certainly lots of opportunities to, to chat with people and, and uh, meet your companions. Um, how difficult is it to travel home from Fairbanks? Is there a nearby airport? Fairbanks has an airport and uh, absolutely one can, can book flights uh, in, and out of, in and out of Fairbanks. So you have those um, open jaw itineraries, the unidirectional trip starting Anchorage, entering Fairbanks. You can fly into one and fly out from the other. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not an expert when it comes to air travel, but I believe the airlines that service Alaska would have those gateways common rated, meaning that, you know, you don't pay more to fly in to one and out of the other as you do if you're doing a, a round trip flight. Folks, hopefully that's all the questions. Uh, that looks like it's all the questions we've had this morning. Hopefully this has been uh, interesting, informative, useful for you this morning. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to learn a little bit more about rail bookers and traveling with Alaska. Um, and we hope to see you on a future webinar. Please don't hesitate to uh, give us a call if you'd like to inquire about anything uh, or uh, put one of these uh, packages on deposit, either you know, if we could try to find space for you this year or into 2022. Thanks so much again, everybody. Stay safe out there, take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.